A $25 million wrongful death lawsuit has been filed in the death of Adrian Jones. It's aimed at the people who are supposed to protect children. Adrian, you might remember, is the young boy who was horribly abused. His body was fed to pigs to cover up the crime. Investigative reporter Angie Riccono looks at who is being blamed. Angie. Well, Ellen, this is Heather and Mike Jones. That's Adrian's stepfather, or excuse me, Adrian's father and his stepmother, and they are in prison for his death. They pleaded guilty to criminal charges. So this lawsuit we're talking about today is a civil case, and it's blasting all of the other people who this suit says knew about the abuse but did nothing to stop it. A new lawsuit targets social workers, hospitals, the Department of Children and Families, and therapists, calling them disinterested bystanders. They effectively allowed his father and stepmother to continue to abuse, torture, and ultimately murder the little boy, while they stood idly by writing it all down. KCTV5 previously reported Adrian's words when DCF files were released. Sometimes he kicks me on the back of my head and a little bone comes out. My daddy keeps hitting me in the head and punching me in the stomach. My mom keeps pulling on my ears. It really hurts. Social workers who heard and wrote those words down are individually named. So are their supervisors and the entire Kansas Department of Children and Family Services. Also targeted, Spofford Hospital, where Adrian spent months of his life. The lawsuit claims Mike Jones told employees he would not follow through with AJ's treatment plan and that Adrian began regressing and even biting himself when he learned he would go home. Adrian spent the final months of his life living back at home with Heather and Michael Jones. He was locked in rooms and eventually trapped in a shower where he was strapped to a chair. He died in that bathroom coffin. Detectives testified his body began to smell, so it was removed and fed to pigs. The lawsuit says all of the people named failed miserably in their duty to intervene and protect the life of this helpless, vulnerable young victim. It asked for at least $25 million in punitive damages. This lawsuit was filed on behalf of surviving family members of Adrian Jones, including his siblings, grandmother, and his biological mother. Adrian was removed from his mother's care when he was two and a half due to neglect. Angie Bracono, KCTV5 News.